Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturing in computing at the National College of Ireland, and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a progress scan chart in Excel 2010. I should point out that uh, two other videos on this channel, uh, Learn with Dr. Eugene O'Loughlin, also show you how to create basic GAN charts in both Excel version 2003 and version 2010. This video is intended to build upon those two videos. First off, let's take a look at the end game, what we want to achieve here. I've got two parts in my screen here. On the left hand side, I've got some details for a short e learning project, and on my right hand side, I've got a GAN chart representing these data here. You can see I have a list of tasks in column A, a start date for each task in column B, a duration in days in column C. In column D, I have the number of days completed for each task. So you can see, for example, that uh, task plan course is now complete. It has a duration of two days, and two of those days are complete. Instructional design has a duration of 10 days, and we can see that 10 days of those are complete, and so on down through our column. In the middle, we can see that there are tasks which are partially complete. For example, graphics has a duration of 10 days, and only two of them are complete. Simulations has a duration of 10 days, and three of those are complete. And down at the end, we can see some tasks that have not yet started, no days complete, and the full duration is still incomplete. And we can visualize that over here on the right-hand side in our Gantt chart. We can see our tasks listed on the left-hand side, and our dates listed across the top. And the bars then representing our Gantt chart here, the red bars are showing me the tasks that are complete. The green bars down at the bottom are showing me the tasks that are incomplete. And in the centre we have the two tasks which are partially complete, the red indicating how much has been done and the green indicating how much is incomplete. So this is what a diagram that we would like to achieve. Let's go and see how we draw a diagram like this. Over here in a separate worksheet I've got my original data as you have just seen. The first thing I want to do is I want to insert a chart type. So click on the insert ribbon. The type I need is a bar chart and the one I'm going to choose here is the 3D stacked bar. So I'll select that and that places a blank chart on my Excel sheet. Just moving it to the right over here, extending it a bit so we can see it. Now I've no data or anything on this yet and the next thing to make sure I do is select the data that I want to go on my chart. So on the chart tools design uh, ribbon up here we need to choose the Select Data option. So click on that, and that brings up a Select Data Source window that you see here. Now what happens next is very important, uh, and it's important that you follow uh, the sequence of events that I choose to do here. On my chart that we looked at, we had um, a start date shown, we had number of days complete shown, and we had number of days incomplete shown, which means we need three parts to our chart. But we enter those down here in the legend series. Now, uh, and there's an add button here to add the series. Now, if you see some items in here, delete them. You don't need them for this particular chart. So what I'm, I'm going to do now uh, is add my three series of information, starting out with the start date. So I'm going to click on add. That brings me up an edit series, small little window here. The series name is my start date. So I'm going to click on start date on my table, and it puts the uh, cell reference in the series name over here. And the series values, if I click on the select tool here, allow me to go over and select with my mouse all the dates underneath the start date in my start date column. Come back to my edit series window, click on the select tool button, and click OK. And that's the first of my three series entered here. The next series I need to add are my number of days complete. So I'll click on add. In the series name, choose complete. And in the series values, click on the select tool here and choose all of the, date, the numbers in underneath the complete days. Click the select tool again and click on OK. And you can see if I move it out of the way here, my chart is building up nicely in behind. We're not there yet. I've got to add my incomplete days as a series. So click on Add. Select Incomplete as my series name. Choose the select tool for series values. Select all the numbers in underneath the incomplete value here click on select and choose OK. Now you can see we have the makings of a chart over here on the right hand side but there's a few things we still need to do to get it to where we want it to be. You'll notice on here on the chart that um, the tasks which I'd hope to be appear here are appearing as numbers and I'd like to see the task names that you see over here on that axis. So I want to click on edit the horizontal axis and this allows me here to just simply select the task names over here on the left hand side. You can see them appearing on my chart and I'm going to click OK. 
and click OK again, I'm now finished with the Select Data Source window. A few more things I need to do. One is I'm going to get rid of this legend over here because I don't need that. Secondly, you can see that the um, tasks have been replaced on my chart in reverse order compared to what I have them on my uh, spreadsheet over here. So it's quite straightforward to reverse those. So select the tasks, right click, choose Format Axis, and up here in the center there's a checkbox for categories in reverse order. Just check that box and click on Close. And you can see the tasks have now been reversed. Next job I want to do is essentially get rid of these blue lines here. I want to hide these. I'm not going to delete them. I just want to hide them. So select them. Select them all. Right click. Choose Format Data Series. And essentially what I want to do is make them invisible. So I'm going to change the Fill option here to No Fill. And the Border Color option to No Line. And close that. And essentially I've made the blue bars that were there invisible now. We're nearly there. A few more things to do. First of all, you can see that uh, my dates along the top hand side here are a little bit scrunched up, so I want to format that. Choose Format Axis, and under Alignment here at the bottom, uh, select to put these at an angle. I'm going to put them in at a 45 degree angle, and close that window. And I can see now that I've got my dates listed quite neatly across the top of my chart. The last thing I need to do is I want to get rid of this blank space here to make my chart look a little bit more uh, presentable. So once again, that's a format axis option. So select the um, x-axis up here, right click, choose format axis. And up here in the top hand side, the axis options, I have my minimum and maximum values. Now, if you've watched my earlier video, you would be I would have shown you how um, data are stored as dates. So I'm going to select fixed here. 40960 represents a date which is earlier than the date that I want to do. I'm just going to change this to 40980. Just add on 20 to that. Close this window and you can now see that my chart is filling up the area available to me. Lastly, if I want to change the dates or change the times on it, this is a snapshot of the project as it is today for example. You can see here in the centre that I've got a graphics and simulations task in progress. If I want to, for example, come back in, say, three days' time, which means that I need to add three days to the complete, so change that from two to five, which means I need to reduce the duration from eight down to five. And if I add three onto the simulations, which means that six and the incomplete goes down to four, you can see over in the center over here that my Gantt chart has changed to show the representation automatically for my date change. So that's how you create a progress scan chart in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.